So now we're ready to um, put on our first toe, which would be, uh, I would say, the fifth step of this. To start this, I'm actually going to append uh, closed all of the toes along the front. This will allow me to, instead of doing an edge extrusion, uh, which I've been doing for the feet so far, it's going to allow me to uh, extrude out faces uh, as a box model. I prefer this for the toes, um, so that's my method. And uh, I'm going to scale this in after my first extrusion and uh, manipulate it just a little bit. And if I go to the top view here, we're going to notice just how much further my toes actually move out. And I want to really try and get that webbing of skin between the toes. It's something you're going to see me working towards time and again here uh, as I put these together. But now we're just putting together a, a base for these feet. Moving these points around uh, again, trying to make that webbing section. And once that's completed, I'm going to extrude out a new face for our first toe. I scaled this together a little bit. And uh, my toe looks very lopsided right now. It's also kind of pushed back a little too close to the foot. So I'm going to try and re manipulate each of these points. Now, the problem with making toes, and this is something that happens, I think, a little too often as people working with feet uh, and with hands. Uh, is that toes and fingers, uh, people always want to try and put a little bit more level of detail into those sections than would be on the rest of the foot. Uh, and you really have to think about it as one level of detail at a time. Uh, I'm going to build this out, as you're seeing here, at the first level of detail, which is going to make it look very boxy. Uh, but I'm going to have to be comfortable with that for now. Uh, and if we want, uh, my next steps, which we're going to approach later, uh, are going to cover putting in a higher level of detail for these areas and how to transition between levels of detail. Uh, we would call the foot that we're at right now maybe level one uh, and we will look at putting in a level two of detail in a bit on just the toes. But as you see here right now as I'm extruding out uh, and just matching these faces up with the orthos uh, are that my toes are going to look like cubes uh, and again that's something we're going to work through. And now extrude in this top face, uh, and this is going to be my toe nail. Like I said, this is a very cubed toe at the moment. Uh, but I extrude this in once, and I'm going to move my vertices at the corners on the back in a little bit to uh, essentially make what we'll call a rounding area later on. Uh, and you'll notice as well here as I'm working, my, my toe is a little bit long from this side, but uh, that's okay. It seems like my, my image planes don't match up perfectly, which you're never going to get anyway. Uh, I'm just going to pull these up a little bit and uh, push the corner of this nail down a bit as well. move these vertices around here. This is my second extrusion now. And uh, you'll notice that uh, I'm able to pull up and really define out a toenail with this second extrusion. So I'm going to continue uh, moving these vertices around. And uh, Again, it's just going to be reshaping, I guess, this uh, unshapely square for the moment. But as you see, in a few seconds, we're going to start adding in some other levels of detail. So what we're going to do now with the split polygon tool here is just cutting up this edge around my toe. Uh, and this, of course, gives me two faces where there were one. But again, at the ends of this, as I meet the foot, I'm going to have five-sided faces. I'm going to do this through the... Uh, I guess lengthwise section of the toe as well. And 
making sure I can do this carefully around the toenail. And up into the foot. Now with these points, uh, I'm now going to uh, be able to move around um, my vertices to make a hopefully more rounded shape. And that's what you're gonna see is gonna happen over these next couple of steps. So I will keep moving these, you just watch. So again, with this stuff, you know, there really isn't a set way of doing it. Uh, my idea is that by taking vertices at the edge of the cube, and like you see here, maybe moving them inward and downward, I can round out shapes a bit. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, move it till it feels more rounded, and that's, I guess, the artistry of all of this. Uh, again, this would be another place where the sculpt geometry tool would probably really come in handy. Uh, but thank you, Maya2008, for your wonderful bug. So there we go, I, I think we're really starting to get the look of this toe down. Uh, we just have to be able to um, bring this back into the foot now to eliminate out those five sides. So I've cut up, I've made two triangles here, uh, and uh, what were quads are now two triangles. I'm gonna do this on these other sections as well. Uh, again, two triangles, two five sides. The idea here being that if we cut from the corner to the center of that triangle, uh, I then, by moving these vertices back, can have three quads on each section, so that made a total of six quads through that area. And uh, I'll probably do this again here from the side. So cut from the center of the triangle to that edge, that I would say vertex corner, uh, and then literally move these points back around. That's gonna be our strategy for connecting these to uh, the toes, to the foot. Uh, and like we saw, there are two strategies for doing this. Uh, this would be, I said, the second strategy uh, where we have a triangle and we have a five-sided face and we turn them into three quads. Uh, the first strategy we looked at earlier, which was the sort of three, two, one strategy on the bottom of the foot. I'm gonna soften out my edges, delete my history. We've, uh, for the most part, Got a toe.